Hey everybody, Mike here from Mike's World and today we're going to talk about how you can hook up your camera to live stream through your Android smartphone. Um, so a lot of people like live streaming and especially here on YouTube. So what we're going to go over is how you can hook up an external camera, any external camera that has an HDMI output into an Android phone and then use an app called USB Camera Pro to live stream straight to YouTube um, so that you're not having to use the, cam the camera in the phone. Uh, if you are a professional, if a video professional, um, you should really should never be using your phone. It, it doesn't have an optical image zoom. It doesn't have an optical zoom. Um, and it's just the, the quality, you know, they're, they're made for home movies, things like that. Professionals shouldn't be using that. If you're serious about your YouTube videos or your social media videos, you shouldn't be using that. So you want to be able to use an external camera. And uh, now they, you could buy something like this. Now this, they've discontinued these. This is a Teradek video. Um, and what this does, it mounts right on top of the camera, has an HDMI input. Um, you can put a, a USB um, uh, 4G dongle in here to use 4G. You can turn on the hotspot on your phone to connect this to the internet and you can, this will literally stream straight to YouTube, Twitch or some other things like that. This cost $700 when it first came out. They have been discontinued. And uh, right now the video, video Go, I believe is the one they have out, it's a thousand bucks. So um, it's a lot of money to be able to stream online. So um, I'm gonna show you a cheaper way of doing that. Now, just full disclosure, because I know people are gonna ask, no, you cannot do this with an iPhone. Apple has, it, they stymie innovation. They, they have a closed system with their iOS operating system. You can't do it. Android is an open system um, and there's just far more that you can do if you're a creative professional with an Android phone that you cannot do with an iPhone and this is one of them. So i um, just going to briefly go over what you're going to need and how this, uh, how this is done and we're going to sh walk it through and then I'll show you a sample of how I was walking around the house uh, shooting video streaming it through my Android phone. So um, let's take a look first of all at what we need. So Obviously, you need a camera that has an HDMI output, and I have a Sony NX5U. Uh, it's a basically a professional camera. Uh, it's what you would probably see a lot of the news MMJ is using today. Um, it shoots AVC HD. Um, it, it's a good camera, and this camera I've had for a very long time, um, and it has an HDMI output. I suggest that if you're doing anything professional, that you're going to have a camera that has XLR audio inputs so that you can use uh, professional mics because you don't really want to use the microphone on the camera. I mean, it's just not very good quality. So you need a wireless set, shotgun mic, things like that. So, um, so I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm demonstrating this with the NX5U. The next thing you're going to need is an HDMI cable. Uh, preferably because it's, it's just a short little run. You just want a short little one and a half foot um, HDMI cable. Uh, if you're using a smaller camera, you might need like micro HDMI to HDMI. So whatever you need there, but you need an HDMI cable. The, th the second thing you're going to need is this little thing here. This is called a UVC adapter camera um, capture card, basically UVC capture card. Now, not all capture cards are created equal. Um, I have this more expensive Cam Link 4K. And one of the things you'll notice about it is that it is USB 3.0. Um, it will stream 4K video if you have a 4K camera streaming through free OBS software um, through your laptop, it will do that. Um, but it will not work for this setup. And the reason is the phone really can't handle uh, the data speeds and I've noticed it's just glitchy and it doesn't work. So what I found was this, this is another UVC capture card. It is more generic. It comes from China. It doesn't even have a brand name. Um, and the link is in the description if you want to order it from Amazon. I think it was like $45. So it's really cheap. Whereas the Camlink 4K, you know, close to $200. So um, there's a difference. Now what you'll notice with this dongle is that it is USB 2.0. That's important. Now this um, capture card can only stream up to 1080p. It cannot do 4K but that's okay because that's not really what we want 
And when you're streaming on the go using your mobile data, you probably don't want to be streaming more than 12, uh, 1280 by 720 anyway, 720 HD, um, because the, the higher the, the pixels, the higher the resolution, the more data you're going to use. And once you start getting up to the max data load from your plan or the area you're in, you're going to start to see um, buffering, glitching, things like that, which we don't want that. So my what I found with this setup, 720p is the perfect resolution and it comes out pretty good uh, in the stream. Uh, the next thing you're going to need, uh, now this phone I'm using is an LG G6, so it's an older phone, it's not a new one. So if you're wondering about um, some older model phones, um, this one has a USB-C connector, that's where it charges. And this is, this is also important because the next piece of equipment you're going to need is a USB 3.0 to USB-C adapter. And you can see it right here, it's just an adapter. Um, and that is what, uh, that is the equipment you're going to need to do this. And then finally, on your uh, Android phone, you're going to need to download the app USB Camera Pro. Now there is a free version, uh, but I would suggest going ahead and paying the few dollars uh, it's less than 10 bucks. Uh, I'm not sure the exact what it costs right now, but it, it's worth downloading and uh, install that on your phone. So after that, um, what we're going to go through now is, is how to hook it all up, how you set it all up. So if you take a look right here at the NX5, you'll see the HDMI cable is plugged into the back here, which runs up here to the U, uh, UVC dongle. So the HDMI plugs into the dongle. The dongle then plugs into uh, the USB-C uh, to USB 3.0 adapter, and that plugs into the smartphone, into the LG G6. And that is basically it. You're just kind of creating um, a pathway for the video to get into the phone. Um, and then I have, obviously I have the phone mounted right here on the cold shoe in the front. Typically I would have it mounted here in the back because I would have a light, an LED light in the front, and I would have it back here so that I, and I would have it angled so I could see it, but that's, that's really not important. The important part is that this is your setup. It doesn't matter what camera you have, HDMI to the dongle, U, the UVC capture card, to the USB adapter that goes into the phone. That is the most important part. That is what you need. So after that, let's look at the, let's take a look at the USB C uh, or the USB Camera Pro app and I'm going to walk you through that real quick because there is some setup here. Now in full disclosure um, what you're going to be doing is setting up a manual stream to an RTMP server. Um, now if you have YouTube then you go to the stream you can go to stream classic or in there you're going to find the um, the streaming uh, URL under the manual settings and then under that you're going to ha have a stream key those are the two things you're going to need and in YouTube you can click to unveil the stream key for up to 10 seconds uh, jot that down uh, exactly as it is with the dashes and everything and write that down you might have to hit the uh, reveal a couple times now it's very very important that you do not give this stream key out to anybody because anybody that has the stream key can live stream straight to your YouTube channel and um, you know with hackers and the things you know who knows what they could stream to your channel and if it's a lot of inappropriate material you could end up getting your channel uh, completely removed by uh, by YouTube so you need to be very careful not to give that information to anybody um, so once you have everything set up um, before you turn on the camera and everything uh, go ahead and disconnect your phone and go here to, here to the USB camera app and you're going to open that up and in the top right you're going to see three little dots and you press that and we're going to go to settings now in here we'll go to general settings and um, we're going to scroll down most of these will already be set like this I haven't really uh, changed anything uh, I kind of leave it as is. You can set it to where as soon as the camera pops up, as soon as it starts seeing a signal, it automatically starts streaming. I don't do that. I don't like that. I want to have control of that. So let's go back and let's scroll down here. 4, 4G uh, size limit. Leave that on. Uh, loop recording. Now this app does allow for recording into uh, to your phone. So you can record what you're streaming and it will go right to your camera roll uh, or your photos. Um, you set the path, SD card, USB disk storage path, 
that you want to go in there and navigate and, and set it so that any recorded videos are going to your um, your photos or your your album things like that and for um, it's pretty self-explanatory to walk through there um, enable microphone that is off because that would enable the microphone on the phone itself and that's not the microphone we want to use uh, preferred video resolution uh, that is where if you click that you want to set that to 1280 by 720 um, any higher than that and you're you're going to probably run into some problems uh, use the hardware decoder turn that on uh, turn off the bypass um, let's see here enable UVC audio input make sure that is on uh, audio playback make sure that is on and then you want if you are in the United States you want to use the NTSC if you're outside the United States uh, rather your PAL or CCAM you want to set that um, to what you want uh, composite video one uh, enable audio input yes through the HDMI uh, audio playback yes uh, video overlay. So I don't have this set, but you can set the video overlay so you can have text over top your video when you stream. You can have a logo. Uh, that, that's all done in there so that you can actually brand your videos because especially if you were, say you were at breaking news and you were shooting something, if you don't have uh, that turned on, um, if you don't have some kind of watermark on it, then uh, people can just grab it and steal it and use it and you don't want that to happen so um, you want so it, it, depending on what you're shooting what you're streaming live if you're worried about somebody stealing your content maybe put put a bug or an overlay uh, we'll scroll down the rest of these are off um, use hardware encoder that is on custom bitrate I stay away from that I just kind of let the phone do its thing um, and then here you're going to get down to push URL and R, RTMP stream key now you're not going to manually enter those right here and i'll tell you why here in just a second because you want the setting rtmp settings manager and if you click and open that initially there will be nothing there and what you have to do is you want to add and you want to add the title of your channel there and under rtmp push that is going to be the url to youtube if you're using youtube and that is the same for everybody. And then RTMP stream key, that is where you're going to enter the information for your key based on what YouTube has given you and that, that you've written down. You add everything, the dash marks and everything. And then that should get you set up to where on the screen you're going to have your channels. You can add more than one, but that is how you manually set up to stream to YouTube. And you can see I have three of them here and I am actually blurring out uh, the information because my stream key is there and I don't want to show it to anybody so but once you have that set you can go back now all your settings are correct for the stream and so the next thing we're going to want to do is now you want to set your phone up on your camera you want to hook your uh, hook your phone up uh, and mount it to your camera I'm going to do that real quick and then at this point you're going to turn your camera on and you are going, it'll pop up once you've connected, USB Camera Pro, allow this app, allow the app USB Camera Pro to access the USB device. Um, you can hit it as default, uh, but I always just leave it this way so I know I'm connected. So I, I'm going to hit OK. OK again. So what you're going to see now is that you'll see your picture with your phone or with your camera. And so what you're going to see on the screen here, if the, this little th uh, three lines on the bottom right, press that. Now you can take a picture. You can record video straight to your phone or the IP camera server. Now this is where how we're going to stream. So you're actually going to press that button and turn it on. It's going to say warning using data because I'm streaming through my data. It does use a lot of data. Be aware of that. Click OK. And then on the bottom right, you're going to see this little pink uh, writing with a little box, RTMP push. Now, this is what we're using. The rest of this RTSP server, you're not going to be using that. You're going to be using the RTMP. So we're going to turn that on. And it's going to give you a choice of your channels. If you just have one, that's where we set up in the RTMP default manager. We set up our channels. You might have just have one or you could have two or three. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select the channel you want to live stream to, click it, the RTMP button, and it says push started. 
So right now I am live streaming to my channel, which is Mike's World. Um, I'm live streaming to it right now. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because I don't wanna stream anything there. But uh, so that is it. And so once you see that has pushed, in about 10 seconds, your video is going to start uh, live. You're gonna be live. And so, um, and to show you an idea of what it looks like, um, take a look at this video that I streamed using my 4G data, walking around my house with my son and some ducks I saw in the front yard. So take a look at the quality. Just walking around live streaming with camera hooked up to my Android phone. What are you doing, Daddy? Huh? What are you doing? Testing the camera out. What are you doing? I'm trying to climb that tree. You want to climb that tree? Yes. You got your climbing gear on? Yes, but someone has to tie that. I think it's a little bit too wet to be out here climbing. Don't you? Well, could you like strap this onto a um, both of these onto a branch? Mm -hmm. Like one, one goes right here, and we hook that one onto that one that's tied in the tree. So I, so when I fall, I won't hurt myself. Yeah, we might do that. Once you get some shoes on. I need shoes on. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to wear shoes if you don't want to. Oh, okay. If you want to go on the grass without shoes, you can. Just it's be careful. It's kind of dark out here, isn't it? Yeah, I don't care. I love climbing. Okay. So there you go. That 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 was using this NX5U connected to my LG G6, and I was streaming to YouTube. Now, Facebook, some of these other platforms, um, it, you can only stream to those if you have. Um, if it has a manual RTMP setup. Um, I don't do anything on Facebook. All of my live streaming is exclusively on YouTube. I don't use Twitch or anything like that. So you're just gonna have to go research those platforms if you wanna stream there. But as far as streaming to YouTube, this works really, really well. So um, again, uh, everything you need, the, the parts, uh, minus the phone obviously, is in the description. There's links you, to where you can buy this stuff uh, on Amazon or other places and um, so yeah, this is a setup so you can live stream, you can walk around. Um, works really well and it's cheaper than having to spend a thousand dollars on a Teradek to mount to your camera. So uh, give it a try. Again, I apologize, this does not work for iPhone. I've tried it, I've tried everything possible, I've tried hacking it, um, it doesn't work. So, um, but the app works extremely well. Um, but the most important piece of the puzzle here in buying this is that you buy the correct UVC capture card or what I call the dongle. Um, it is, if you get the wrong one, it's not going to work. And, and I can't guarantee that this is going to work on every Android phone. You're going to have to play around with it. But I would think that it's probably going to work on most of them because, um, especially newer phones, um, I've been waiting to get the LG G9. Uh, the COVID-19 has kind of shut down uh, production and stuff like that. It was expected to come out in March or April. It's who knows when it's going to come out. So uh, this phone's a little bit outdated, but it works. So the newer phone should work too. Try it out. Um, it's a relatively inexpensive option, really, for live streaming. Um, and it gives you much better quality over the just holding your phone, uh, especially with a camera like this that has an optical image stabilizer. You can get a lot steadier shots, uh, a lot cleaner shots, and more professional looking. So um, that's it for that. I hope you guys have learned something from this. I hope you can use this. And um, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment, 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 and uh, like this video. And uh, again, we'll see you next time. Take care.